Here we are in the nursery and I have a question from Guy. Many plants fix nitrogen, but you only refer to legumes. Why is that? And are there any legumes that are sure to fix nitrogen without being inoculated? Or is it always down to the specific site? And are there no such guarantees? Now, most legumes fix nitrogen, but there are a few that don't. Carob and tamarind are legumes, but they don't fix nitrogen that we know of. Almost all other leguminoses do fix nitrogen, so they are by far the very largest group of plants that um, fix nitrogen. But there are some non-legumes that fix nitrogen. Older in the cold climate fix nitrogen. Ellie Agnes fixes nitrogen. So uh, there are one or two odd characters that are not leguminosae. They are not peas and beans, in other words. Peas and beans are legumes. Clover is a legume. Alfalfa is a legume. But then we have the Crotalaria. We have pigeon pea there, pigeon pea here. We have Tephrosia here, more pigeon pea. I have large legumes here. So I'm growing on some large cassias here. Um, I have some Tipuana tipus. We're always growing some legumes as support species, long term and short term. Now, how do we know they fix nitrogen? Well, you can actually find out, you can actually look it up. Do you need to inoculate pigeon pea in Australia? No, you don't. It associates with the local nitrogen fixing um, rhizobium bacteria. So does Tephrosia and so does Crotalaria. But then some of our cover crops, they don't. So we use cow pea here in the main crop and around a lot of our cropping gardens, we use cow pea in summer. It's our ground cover summer legume cover crop. And then in winter, because we grow in winter as well, we have vetch and field pea. It's usually dun pea or maple pea and lupin. Those are our summer cover crop legumes and they're often the summer there are winter cover crop legumes should I say and they're the summer legumes in a temperate climate so let's go and have a look at the cover crop down here and see what's going on there because you have to inoculate it so here's our main crop garden and we haven't used inoculant in this garden for probably seven years because we've put so much cover crop down where we inoculated, it's now permanently here. So around the edges here, all along the edges, you have cowpea. This is a cover crop legume. I pulled most of it off, but there's a nodule there. There's a little nodule. So there'd be lots on here, but I ripped it out of the ground. So there's a little nodules there. So these, you can go to your farm supplies locally, wherever you are, and you can ask, what do the farmers use as a cover crop annual legume. This is what you call green manure. And they will tell you what the farmers use. Now you're going to get it at a farm price now. You're going to get it by the bag, a bag price, a large bag that is. And, and you can then ask, does it need to be inoculated? Do I need to buy inoculant? And that is a bag. It'd be in a fridge somewhere, like in the, in the door of the fridge, like the, the, where you keep butter. It's not in the cold part of the fridge, it's, it's alive. You're gonna buy a bag which will have a name on it, or that'll be J group or Y group or, or something like that. And the, the farm supplies will look it up in a book. They say, oh, you want J group or you want Y group or some other group of, of, of inoculant. And that bag is a bag of peat. And in the peat are the rhizobium bacteria that live in that colony and create the nitrogen fixation for your cover crop. And you just mix it with your seed. So your seeds go all black and you put, put it in water. It goes a bit sticky. You mix it with your seed and you put it in with your seed as it grows 
is fixing nitrogen. And over a bit of time, you'll find it's con continuously present in your garden. Now, when you're going out to plant trees, or you're going out to search trees, you want to know whether a tree has uh, nitrogen fixating qualities, it has rhizobium bacteria on the roots, you can actually dig around a tree that you can find growing that you want to take seed from to take to your place. And you can find out if there are nitrogen nodules on the roots. You can just dig around the hair roots and you can find those little, little tiny nodules. On some trees, they can be quite big, size of marbles. And if it is, you can grab some of that soil. You can grab a handful or half a bucket full of that soil and bring it back and mix it with your potting mix and you're mixing in the inoculum naturally. This is something people used to do. They used to spread soil from farm to farm, add in inoculum, add in the soil organisms. But in this case, you're particularly after the rhizobium bacteria, rhizome meaning root in Latin. In fact, the priests in the Middle Ages used to bless the fields with a bucket of soil. They'd throw out a handful on each field after the harvest festival. And they would take the soil from the best field of the best farm and bless the fields by, and throw a handful of soil out into every field of every farmer's field from the best field in the village. We're inoculated. Now here's an alley crop with leukina that's being pollinated up above and comfrey underneath. And this is a nitrogen fixer. And this is fixing nitrogen and we're cutting it for mulch. But we're cutting it at the end of the dry season. And we're trying to get it above the sprinklers actually. And we're cutting the comfrey as a mineral fix. So it's nitrogen and minerals in between crop gardens. This is the way we work with legumes.